What's up everybody, my name is Thomas and welcome to Fish Creek Nissan. In this video, I'm gonna go over everything that you need to know about Nissan's ProPilot Assist. For this video, I'm gonna be using a 2019 Nissan Rogue. To activate ProPilot Assist, there are technically two stages to it. The first stage is just getting up to the speed that you're happy with, so on this road, it is 80 kilometers an hour. That's the speed limit. Once you're at 80 kilometers an hour, you're gonna hit the blue button, which will activate your ProPilot Assist and then hit the set button and that will set your speed. If you're not bang on 80, you can use the plus and minus button and then you're gonna hear a little ding like you did just there. A little beep to let you know that the second stage has been activated. That second stage is the steering assist. So now it's gonna help me steer left and right. Now it's not gonna go a full 90 degrees, it's not gonna stop and make a full turn, but it will help you through bends on the road. So at this point, the road is braking, accelerating and steering. I do, however, have to keep one hand on the steering wheel and it's gonna know my hand is there because when it's making those minor adjustments, it's gonna feel the weight of my hand. If I take my hands off, it will get mad at you. The screen will turn red and it'll ask you to put your hands back on the steering wheel. What makes ProPilot Assist different from most of the competition and one step closer to being fully autonomous is the fact that the camera is helping correct you while you're in the middle of the lane, making sure that you stay right in the middle as opposed to ping-ponging you off the invisible barriers above each lane as you go along like most systems currently do in 2019. So let me explain. You're driving down the road and it's a straight line, there's no cornering and you slightly veer off to the left a little bit and then you start to go over the line. Most systems will just correct you back into the middle and kind of set you off in the other direction, but then eventually you're gonna hit the other side and you're just gonna bounce back and forth as you're going along. ProPilot Assist doesn't let that happen. It makes sure that you're in the middle the entire time instead of just bouncing back and forth. ProPilot Assist is made up of two separate systems. There is the Intelligent Cruise Control and then the Steering Assist. So the Intelligent Cruise Control will brake and accelerate for you to make sure that you're staying at the speed that you set and it'll also make sure you don't get too close to the car in front of you. You can choose between one, two, and three car lengths in between you and the car in front of you as you're driving along, and it'll make sure to keep that distance as you drive down at the speed you set. And the second part is the steering assist that'll just make sure that you stay bang in the middle of your lane as you're driving down the road by making minor adjustments to the steering wheel. And both of those together make what is ProPilot Assist. And it is so bizarre to experience this for yourself, especially the first time is super Super, super weird. It doesn't feel right. It feels like a ghost is driving the car for you. So it's going to brake for me here. I'm not going to do anything. It's doing all this braking. I'm not doing anything right now because we're at a red light. It slowed down all by itself there. I didn't do a single thing. It's coming to a complete stop. There we go. And it's going to set off again. I'm not doing any of this. It's just waiting for that F-150 to get the proper length away and then it's going to speed up. So the reason it turned off there is because we went through a set of lights and it lost where the lines were because obviously there's no lines in the middle of that junction there. But it just turned back on because it picked up the lines again. In order to turn off ProPilot Assist, there are two ways to very quickly and efficiently do that. The first way is just by putting your foot on the brake and that will automatically turn off all of the systems and you'll be 100% back in control. The second way to do it is just by hitting the cancel button that is on the steering wheel around the cluster of buttons that go along with your ProPilot Assist function. And just in case you're uncomfortable with the steering assist, there's a button to the left of the steering wheel and once you press that, it'll turn off that section of ProPilot Assist and just leave the intelligent cruise control. And last but not least, what happens in case of an emergency? Let's just say ProPilot Assist is on and you just have one hand hanging off the steering wheel and you feel a little sleepy, it's the middle of the night and you end up falling asleep. What would happen? Well, the car isn't just going to turn off ProPilot Assist and leave it all up to you. It's actually very clever what it goes about doing. I'm not going to be demonstrating it for my safety and the other people on the road, but what would in theory happen is the car would pull over to the side of the road, so get over as much as possible. It would then turn on the e-brake after coming to a complete 
stop and then it would set off the horn and turn on your hazard lights and the reason it does that is to warn other people around you and also to try and wake you up. All in all, a very cool system and super handy to have on your car, especially for long road trips. And that's everything that you need to know about Pro Pilot Assist that comes out on three Nissan models for 2019. The Qashqai, the Altima, and what I'm in right now, the Rogue. If you want to know more of my thoughts on Pro Pilot Assist, feel free to click on the link in the description below or the video link that's at the end of this video. Anyway, if you like what we do here at Fish Green Nissan, feel free to follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and check us out on Instagram. My name is Thomas, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.